Hi, I'm Scott Newbrecht, a realtor here in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. I continually am getting more and more questions about rentals in the downtown Fort Lauderdale area. So today I'm going to look at rentals between the range of $1,500 to $2,000. Let's take a look. First up is a rental for $1,850. This is a one bedroom with one bath and it also has 625 square feet. I am very familiar with this property. It is located downtown, just a few blocks from Las Olas. It has a very nice looking kitchen. You can see that it's all updated, nice tile floors, stainless steel, I like the bar area. Love the wood floors. That is a great touch. And there we go. We've got some great storage here with nice uh, closet space. Another picture of the closet space there. Fairly updated, a bathroom with a nice glass shower. And just one more picture there of the kitchen area. There's the living area. You can kind of get an idea with that bike and stuff how kind of small it is. It's not real huge, but it has a nice pool. And this is a great community. I know it very well. It's got a nice uh, community room with billiard tables and some places to hang out with your friends. A couple more exterior photos. This is a nice property and I would say well worth the $1,800 rental. Next up, a rental for $1,950. This is a one bedroom, one bath, 677 square feet. And when you first start looking at it, the first thing that pops into my mind are really nice floors very large tiles shiny kind of glamorous looking uh, i think that really makes it for this apartment it looks very nice and clean and well maintained just another view there it looks like of the bedroom there's the kitchen stainless steel appliances granite countertops looks very nice and clean not a huge kitchen but very manageable you've got some good counter space there and this is the bedroom shot. You can see the bathroom there and then the walk-in closet on the left. A couple more pictures. Nice updated bathroom. I love the European style toilet and the glass shower. One more picture of that from a different angle. Very nice shower and I love the window there in the bathroom. That's nice to have. It lets the natural light in. And I will say there's a couple of pictures here with storage that looks like a linen closet, closet near the front door as well, and yet another closet with some shelves in it. Overall, some good storage, nice clean looking building, and pretty nice on the inside. As we continue, a rental for $1,995. This is a two bedroom, two bath and it has 1,064 square feet, so nice size um, home. This is a nice looking building on the outside, and you can see from here that it is just adjacent to the downtown financial district, so it's got a great location. Not a fan of carpeting in the bedrooms, but it is what it is. Uh, the doorway uh, area there with the kitchen to the right, Kitchen is okay, stainless steel appliances. That's an old burner. You can see the old burners there. So hasn't been updated in a long time as far as that part goes, but you do have your own uh, nice looking washer and dryer there. And another view here of how close to downtown it, it is. So if you really wanna be near downtown in Las Olas Boulevard, the restaurant's a great place to be. Nice looking, clean, updated fitness room with windows there. So you can look out and then the billiard table and plenty of places to hang out with your friends. Great pool area. Overall, pretty nice. On we go to the next home for review. It's $1,800. Building looks a little old and out of place here in Florida, but it is on the second level, accessible by that little catwalk there. So that's nice to be up above. The grounds look clean, nice pool area with a lot of trees. That's always a bonus. First thing that pops out to my, in my mind are the crazy colors on the walls. Doesn't really help sell this particular home, but 
you can see that it has nice windows with light um, the walls look clean the floors are nice so not bad bathroom semi updated a little outdated there's another view but it's nice and fairly new and clean looking kitchen nice wood cabinets and you've got some granite countertops and a gooseneck sink there and one more view of the living area so overall clean not bad little outdated as we continue a $1,600 two bedroom, one bath, 760 square foot apartment. Kitchen looks nice. I like the dark wood cabinets. It's got a glass top there and I like the updated lighting. The living room area has got some decent looking tiles there. Looks like a average space and it looks like the bedroom right here with the closet another view of that area and yet another and the living area again okay for this one overall not bad bathroom updated toilet and sink area looks pretty decent if you want to live in a townhome this might be just for you two bedroom one bath almost 1,100 square feet for $2,000. That's quite a bit of space in Fort Lauderdale downtown terms. The building is definitely, uh, looks clean and nice, but it's a little outdated. It's on the water and a tree-lined street. So those are kind of it, nice things to have in that, in that kind of an area. There's the carpet that I don't like, but it's got a nice under stairwell storage there. Another view looking out toward the back, which looks like it's situated right on a little canal. Okay, for the kitchen, uh, the range there is definitely outdated. Everything looks clean and nice. Not super updated, but doesn't look like there's any damage anywhere. Overall, not bad if you can deal with the carpeting. Got a, it has a lot of windows. And for the price, $2,000 for 1,100 square feet. Pretty good in downtown Fort Lauderdale. And a peek of the bathrooms, you can see this is a blast from the past. Outdated, but it does look nice and clean from what I can see. A two bedroom, two bath for $1,750 with 830 square feet. Doesn't sound too bad. It's the two bedroom, two bath. I think that would be good uh, as far as that price goes in this area. External. A view of the building there looks like it's a couple stories high a nice little dinette area outside the kitchen oh and underneath their parking underneath nice hardwood floors I'm a huge fan of the hardwood floor so that really makes this stand out looks like a clean bathroom semi updated the shower is definitely a little old and that is really old there's another blast from the past. That doesn't look like it's been updated since Elvis Presley was alive, but it's okay. It looks clean and it has a nice pool area. Now this apartment is just $100 less than the previous one and it's only a one bedroom, one bath. Let's take a look at see what that gets you with only $100 in difference. Look at that. That's the living room there and that little uh, air conditioning unit stuck in the wall. And I'm not sure why that couch is in front of that door. Um, kind of a haphazard kitchen, outdated, an old burner type stove, but it doesn't look broken down at all. Semi updated uh, bathroom area there. Another picture, you can see the shower. Okay, not super bad, um, only a $100 less than the previous one, I would think I would take the other one over this, but that kind of gives you an idea of what the market is doing. The next rental has a nice pool area with an umbrella table for hanging out with your friends. This is an $1,800 rental, two bedroom, two bath, and 1,200 square feet. So that's quite a nice size for a rental. As far as living space is concerned, another view of the pool area there. This unit is on the first floor and it looks right out at the pool so that's kind of nice as well. You had a screened-in porch 
okay looking uh, kitchen. Uh, the burner stoves definitely are outdated. You've got some granite countertops. So that is nice. There's the carpeting again, a long narrow uh, living room. Exterior photo with the catwalks and a couple another pictures here of the bedrooms with the carpeting. And a picture of the bathroom, semi-updated. It's got a nice size walk-in closet there. That's hard to find in the older buildings. So overall, not bad. If you found the information in this video helpful, have a look at my other rental video that shows rentals under 1500 in the downtown Fort Lauderdale area. Give that one and this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions or need personal help, my contact information is below. I always love to hear from you. And as always, until next time, see ya.